IFP councillor Lung Sani Ntuli, who survived the assassination, has revealed who may have been behind the plot to have them killed. Ntuli and Makubano were travelling on the R33 between Umsinga town and Pomeroy. As they slowed down for speed humps, they were ambushed by gunmen. Their vehicle was left riddled with bullets on both the passenger and the driver's seats. Ntuli was rushed to hospital. He has made a damning revelation at Makubane's funeral service on Sunday. I was starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I got frightened thinking that the perpetrators are seeing me, but I was able to see him. The firearm had just been used by Mr. Lamini as a former policeman. He then put the gun on its holster while walking back to his silver car. Your Worship, the Mayor Kacheni, you are not supposed to kill us like that because that's our brother. The IFP says it views the allegations in a serious light. It denies allegations that the killing is linked to the employment of a high-ranking official in the municipality with alleged ties to the mayor. The party says it has dispersed its national leaders to investigate the claims made by Ndoli. Uh, the National Council members uh, team has been consulted uh, so as to get facts. The IFP will, will act accordingly, immediately. Uh, the facts are on the table and then the IFP will act accordingly. And IFP has never been hesitant in acting uh, towards any leader whenever there is something wrong reported uh, or there is evidence or there is information which uh, indicates that a leader did not uh, behave according uh, to the expectation of the party. The National Police Task Team investigating political killings has taken over the probe. No one has been arrested. The IFP has called on the police to leave no stone unturned in their investigation. We believe uh, the South African police services will enable us, in fact, to understand as to what was actually happening uh, during uh, or before the assassination and during the assassination and who are actually involved and will never hesitate to protect uh, the citizen and protect the leaders whenever someone is involved uh, in such uh, conduct. According to the South African Local Government Association, Kwazu Natal has seen 13 councillors gunned down since November last year. The Umsinga mayor and councillor Nduli could not be reached for comment. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Durban.